Hey guys, it's Kristen Raza and Donna Vella. Woohoo! We're here to talk a little bit about traveling with essential oils. Mm -hmm. Two things we're both passionate about. I love me some essential oils. We're here out in nature because Donna and I both love going back to basics to the plants for supporting our health and we both love travel. But she just came back from a really interesting trip and is getting ready to head out again. So tell the folks a little bit about what you are up to. Sure, um, so I've been recently traveling uh, for about three months on a motorcycle. Um, and I've been sitting in the sidecar while my husband was at the helm of the beast that we travel in. Um, and we headed west from the northeast and um, really wanted to immerse ourselves primarily in both Route 66 and also the national parks. Um, and I guess I just want to say before we even, even get into the trip itself is just to mention a little bit more about um, our combined uh, like-mindedness as it relates to nature and as it relates to um, taking care of ourselves as best we can before seeking medical um, attention, if you will, and if necessary. But I'm a health coach and Kristen is essentially a health coach as well. And we both come at, um, take holistic health in the same way and that is to try to exhaust all the avenues that we have available to us. And I'm not talking about WebMD necessarily, I'm talking about uh, what we put in our bodies, what we put into our minds, and how we go about our day-to-day -day living in as healthy a manner as, as possible, and, and physically uh, active as well. Um, but the reason that we're doing this today is because um, nature and plants and essential oils all support our, our immunity and our good health and I wanted to um, talk a little bit more about what oils that I took with me on this journey because A, I wasn't packing an awful lot and for sure we had a first aid kit that has bandages and that kind of uh, antiseptic ointments but that would, would not be my first course of action, let's put it that way, for a, a variety of things. And so um, we thought we'd tell you a little bit about that today. Yeah, so it doesn't matter if you need to really pack super light, like Donna had to, being in the sidecar. Uh, and you can see pictures, by the way, of her journey on Instagram at Happy Camel. Happy Camel, Camel Adventures. Adventures, right? So go follow them on Instagram because they're getting ready for their next trip and you can check out their, um, their ride. Mm. So it doesn't matter if you are really packing super light. These travel and first aid uh, tips can be great even if you're not going anywhere <laughs> even if you're staying at home right so what did you have in the uh, in the kit well um, I had um, one or two blends uh, I had some lozenges and I had some standalone oils and uh, beadlets with me and so I really had to give some serious thought to what was going to go with me and thinking that we were not going to be eating healthy every day and uh, that was definitely confirmed the more west we got where from New Mexico forward it was tacos 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 and more tacos it's and like taco you, Tuesday every day of the every week. day was taco <laughs> Tuesday and if you really needed vegetables mm. then there was uh, taco salad so um, my gut gets twisted up pretty easily and so um, mm. I guess We'll start with, with this little beauty, which is Digest Zen, that I honestly used every single day. Um, and I, I, I decided to play with it a little bit because I also had a couple of sinus headaches. And interestingly enough, not only does it work on your belly, but I put it on my temples and uh, it actually helped with a sinus Ooh, uh, headache one day, which was kind of weird. I, I don't even know if anybody can, you know, support that, but this on your belly goes a long way. Um, 
So this is the touch version yes. of Digest Zen. It comes in a few different versions, but the touch version has already um, included some fractionated coconut oil on here. So when she says rub it, you literally just rub it on the belly. And even if you're, I, I also loved this for international travel. When I went to India, mm -hmm. I used the Digest Zen at before every single meal, and I did not fall prey to some of the digestive. Uh, events that can happen when right. you're traveling with very different food, but even tacos across the country. Yeah, a lot of tacos. Can, a lot, a of, lot tacos, of spices. A lot of, can can be you know different. It can really wreak havoc on the gut. It's true. I mean, and also because again we're traveling by motorcycle and sometimes setting up camp and sometimes not getting to a hotel or an Airbnb until late. You know, you're eating late and then you're also exhausted. So. Mm. Even if I didn't have a stomach ache, you know, technically speaking, but was rather full when I went to bed, which is definitely not my game plan on any given day, um, I would use this just to calm things down so I can get a better night's sleep. Mm. Um, let's see what other roll-ons you have. Yeah, let's stick with the roll-ons first. Um, of course, no one, I, I don't know anybody that leaves their home without Melaleuca for cuts and scrapes and any time you really need to just make sure you're not, you know, um, getting cooties. Yeah. I guess it's, it's antibacterial. antibacterial. So anytime That's the you word need to get rid for. of some germs, you know, germs are everywhere, especially on the road. Um, whether it's uh, cuts, blisters. Um, Honestly, I, I I put this on uh, spiders, burns. spider bites. Oh. Uh, the black flies, mosquitoes. I mean, of course, something different for the itch, but I always use this first <laughs> just to make sure I wasn't taking in some nonsense. <laughs> yeah, any kind of skin issue, um, you know, like rash or anything like that, but spider bites. Right. Yeah, that, that's right. definitely helpful. So um, the next one that I traveled with, I mean, here you are looking at me with my hair like all in place and my earrings on and my necklace, but you know, it gets a little ugly out there. <laughs> and day after day on a motorcycle, you're not always feeling as feminine. Or as um, fresh. Or as yeah, <laughs> fresh, feminine. Um, mm. and, I, and because we were traveling light, I also didn't have like some of my skincare products with me. So that brings me to my next roll on, which is Rose. Rose is beautiful. Rose, Rose is beautiful. Um, honestly, I used it as a serum on my face at night. Um, even you know, if I was in my tent and that was the way I was going to wash my face that night, I always put this on, just because a it works so magnificently and, and miraculously, but also it just it just let me feel like a girl. Um, it just, I love that. I and just look at her skin. Needed, I mean, you know, a feminine something. And this was it. That's beautiful. And I think you already know that rose is the highest vibrational oil. Mm. So when you are on an adventure and you really want that high vibe feeling, I'm just going to open it and smell it really quick. Before we... Beautiful. It yeah. is beautiful. It's I... a great choice. And, and, and also, you know, multifunctional. So that's always when you're packing light thinking about mm. how many birds you can kill with one, one oil. roller <laughs> <laughs> one roller with one roller i think we're missing a roller here but maybe we should just talk about oh it. we should yeah i i you know i took i also carry um deep blue with me for muscle aches it, it actually is not in here now because um my mom used it while she was here visiting um i really didn't have many muscle aches which I'm very grateful for, but I definitely had it with me. I didn't. I didn't yeah. actually have an opportunity to use it, but it will be back in the bag for leg number two. Yeah, especially if you're hiking, you know, or and just sitting in that sidecar yep. could could be, you know, kind of like stiff afterwards. Exactly. Um, and then uh, the beadlets. These two beadlets, peppermint and on guard beadlets, were also really really helpful. Can I take a beadlet um, yeah, out? Yeah, of course. Some people may not know what a beadlet is. Oh, sure. Um, and I don't think you're going to actually be able to see it on the... Or get it out of... Oh, it's not open. <laughs> oh, that's a fresh one. That's a fresh one. Oh, the other one's in my mm. purse. Here, um, try these guys. Try these guys. So a beadlet is... That's not open either. <laughs> but that's okay. It, it's like a tiny... Um, almost like, like a little tic-tac or... Uh, oh, there we go. 
here. Let's not spill them on the awesome. So it's a really, I don't think know if you'll be able to see that, but it's like like almost an eighth of a drop of oil in there, I believe. And if you you can swallow it or you can bite it. Um, you can bite it and swallow it, and then you're getting the internal benefits of the oil. Or let's just say you wanted um, to, you're you know using a restroom where there's not great conditions. You could actually just, I'm just trying to squeeze it in half. Oop, there it goes. Squeeze it, and then you can rub it on your hands too. You don't even have to ingest it. Right. Here, would you like that one? Sure. <laughs> I, I'll take it. Um, I just rubbed it on my. On my hands so I use these for some interesting uh, in some interesting ways um, the peppermint every once in a while if we were dehydrated during the middle of the day hmm. and we would get like little headaches just a little headachey until we could find like God only knows what like Dollar General or something to get some hydration um, or some electrolyte water um, these are I put the peppermint on our temples Oh, um, to great. relieve some some headache pain um, I also there was a couple of nights many nights when we were in Utah that were blistering blistering hot mm -hmm. and there was really no relief and we were camping and um, these beadlets on your temple or behind your ear can be broken and put in put behind your ear and maybe other parts but we put them here and also up on our temples but very far away from our eyes just to cool and help us be able to fall asleep and it's just kind of like you know a York peppermint patty <laughs> <laughs> but that's so smart I mean I, I use the peppermint oil for all those things that you just mentioned but having the beadlet is almost a little more multi-purpose I it really is. hadn't thought about that and the breath mint and by the way, mint. and and a breath when mint, you can't find way. a place to brush your teeth, right? Or right, clean right, water, right? So that this is a great, great, great um, item to have in your in your bag. Yeah, um, so, I carry that all the time with yep, me anyway. Yep. And as as um, Kristen was saying, the On Guard is a, a hand sanitizer. But the day before we left, I had had some dental work done. And uh, this has clove in it and some other things that Kristen will be able to tell you what, what cinnamon, exactly is. Cinnamon, wild orange, clove. So it's frankincense. a little zippy, a little spicy, but the clove is important. Um, and I, I had, like I said, this dental work done and my gum was sore. And so I broke one and I rubbed it up on my gum around the tooth that had been worked on. And um, it worked like a charm. Nice. Yeah. So I clove. I wasn't even... Uh, I have reached for clove for any kind of dental issues, but I, if you don't have clove in hand and you have your on guard on hand, it's a good substitute. There's it so sure many, is. there's such versatility in the product, so I love seeing how different people use them yeah. in different ways. Yeah. Um, um, and while we're on the topic of on guard, I also traveled with on guard uh, lozenges and the breathe lozenges. And really, for some, just just to freshen up our breath, and just to kind of, you know, open up airways and stuff. I mean, once you're no longer in the Northeast and you're a Northeasterner, the farther west you get, the drier it is. And until your body acclimates to that, I mean, your sinus cavities are really, really dried. And and mm -hmm. mine to the point they were, my nose was bleeding, and it was just oh, pure no. dryness. But. Um, so the breathe helped a lot. It's got the eucalyptus and all the, the obvious uh, suspects in it. But if I really thought that I might be getting an infection of some sort, I also had the on guard with me, which also helped with my toothache. Smart. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, I love those lozenges. They're very handy and Th just they are. If I ever feel like I'm coming down with something, I grab the on guard, mm -hmm. put that in my mouth, and I'm good. We're having some fabulous hibiscus. This hibiscus tea has lime juice in it. I suppose we could have put we could put lime, lime essential oil. oil in it. We could have very tasty. Brought by Donna. Thank you. My pleasure. With our beautiful lunch. Um, what's next? Okay, so, so fun. what is not here because I left them on the motorcycle are two sprays. Once again, the on guard spray because you just cannot have enough disinfectant with you when you're traveling. <laughs> Uh, like we were traveling 
Did um, you go in the room and spray down the room when you're gonna stay in it? You know, uh, I a, another friend of ours whose name is uh, Mary suggested that I bring some Palo Santo with me. Oh. So we actually cleared the room with Palo Santo, oh, although I did have the on guard with me as a backup for the bathrooms and such if there were a skeevy night or two. Um, <laughs> and the Terra Shield insect repellent I always had with me. So one, one note on that, um, my husband is DEET, DEET, and more DEET. I am not. So I had the Terra Shield. Um, he got bit, I did not, and frequently he would say, What's that great smell? What's that great smell? And it I was it. every time it was the Terra Shield. So that is um, just an awesome product and it doesn't give you that greasy, yucky, I have bug spray. Yeah, feeling. I hate that. And you know, there were some nights when we were getting into like a campsite or something really late, not going to be taking a shower until morning because they were full of kids or, or what have you. And I mean, nobody wants to go to bed smelling like bug spray but it, I, I can say it wasn't it wasn't bad yeah yeah it's funny when I was um, in Africa that was before I knew about oils we had all kinds of bug sprays because there's a lot of stuff going on there and some of the bug sprays people were using like over-the-counter sprays would eat through I remember one of them ate through the plastic of somebody's windbreaker and I thought if it's eating through the plastic of your jacket, I don't really want it on my skin. Right. Yeah. So I love the Terra Shield. We do a ton of hiking, as you know, and um, we have it with us all the time. Yep. As do I. Um, and so what we have left are just, um, I have only one blend, which is the Breathe. Um, and again, I had this with me at all times for no other reason than it was just so, so dry. I would wake up in the middle of the night just completely dried out and um, this saved the day. And every morning or whenever I took a shower, I definitely, I didn't, I know a lot of people use this and put a drop on the shower floor. Right. I prefer to wait till um, everything's like really moist and put it on my hand and then literally keep my hand up to my face. It seems to work a little bit better closer up to where the where the need is. Mm, so, good idea. Breathe. And then I've traveled with um, a little bit of a mix of some, some oils. Um, lavender I brought with me for if we had bug sprays, I mean uh, insect bites, uh, to help with itching, which it works like a charm. I know that people are, you know, might be questioning why I didn't use it to sleep if I needed to, but I actually don't like the smell of lavender. Not my favorite, um, but for a bug itchy stuff, it's yeah. really worked wonderfully. And it would be another option if you didn't use the rose on right. your skin. You could use oh. that. Oh, I never thought um, about it's that. It's very good for skin, uh, but a lot I don't of people... like the smell. Yeah, if you don't like the smell, that's not good. But if a lot of people call lavender the, the Swiss Army knife of oils. Oh, really? That's that little nickname. So you're, it's very versatile. So you were smart to put it in your stash here. I read somewhere, and you'll have to um, enlighten us. What about for sunburn? Yeah, you can use it for sunburn. I think a great combo would be um, some peppermint and lavender together. And you could, I mean, if you weren't very limited on your sidecar, you could do um, peppermint and lavender in a spray bottle and use that mm. for some, but um, you've got your beadlets, so right. I would say a drop of that and break open a beadlet, right. and you could do that too, so. Right. There's always ways to MacGyver it. Always, <laughs> MacGyver, <laughs> MacGyver your oils. Um, then uh, I, I kind of never leave home without wild orange. This actually, not this bottle, because I go through it quite a bit. The very first oil Kristen ever gave me when I went to an informational session with her was a free bottle, big bottle, not a little one, a big one, of wild orange. And uh, I love all citrus smells and I have become very, um, very enamored with wild orange and, and peppermint as just an energizing, uplifting, if I just need something, maybe I just, I, it could be my mood, it could be my energy level. This wild orange and peppermint I love. And I did not bring, I, the only peppermint I brought was uh, two things of the beadlets. So this is almost empty. Um, 
and in all honesty I also use this on a dish uh, um, a hand towel in the hotels I would take one of their washcloths that's the word I was looking for and put a couple drops when I was drying clothes in a Ooh. hotel washer and dryer oh smart so smart that's I didn't have I love to put things on you know different scents on my laundry balls but I didn't have those with me um, but I still used it for that just to make mm. me feel like I was home and fresh keep things light and yeah fresh. and um, a lot that's also even though it is an uplifting and energizing mm -hmm. scent for a lot of people it can be relaxing so if someone is very stressed or overwhelmed or there's like you know, just the stresses of being on the road it can be good for that too interesting so, yeah it can be calming for a lot of people um, but the peppermint wild orange combo is a personal favorite of mine uh, some of uh, my friends and I call it the, the Connecticut cup of coffee because in the afternoon wild orange and peppermint instead of coffee it's great or you can have there you go tea or you can have biscuits tea um, another one uh, oil uh, in the citrus family that I would never leave home without is my lemon um, so lemon probably was the most versatile one I certainly didn't have I always have hot water and lemon first thing in the morning and having a fresh organic lemon with me every morning was not possible but I did put a drop of this oil in my hot water every single morning without fail so I used it for that um, I also used it with dish soap at campsites you know how they have those slop sinks or whatever they call them that every other person has used when you only have like one mug and one dish with you and one fork and one spoon so I added this to our dish soap yeah. just to give me an extra level of comfort that what I was putting back on our on our motorcycle was clean and fresh and kind of yeah clean and fresh um, so I used it for that and I feel like I've used it for some other things that are escaping me right now. Um, oh, I know what we used it for. So, my husband spit a wad of gum out of his mouth and it backfired and landed on the Velcro on his motorcycle <laughs> jacket. <laughs> and so, then we just it's folded like up the motorcycle jacket because it was hot and the nice, warm, hot sun melted it so it was all over the jacket and all over all of the velcro oh no and this helped get it off this oh, is also my gosh so gooby smart. gone yeah so. <laughs> i use it all the time to get like price tag or stickers price off tags, of things just all like a little stuff. wipe of oh my gosh i can't believe it but the gum the gum so that was awesome that's like a cartoon that's kind of a cartoon like, but i mean li literally i know we're just kind of rambling here and you guys might not be finding this i'm hoping you're finding this totally <laughs> it's amazing very informative but it's oh, did you bring really this too? really um an amazing thing um yes i did bring i i don't have it here because i'm using it i only have one bottle of it but i also traveled with um oregano so oregano is a great disinfectant and um, I also used it at the campsite to add a little bit of flavor to some tomato sauces. And uh, one night we had uh, chicken sausage and zucchini and squash and stuff on the grill. And I just gave it a little bit of splash um, and it really helped. Awesome, and you could have used the lemon to flavor yep, things as course. well, or the wild orange. Yep, or, the wild orange. Yeah, this would all be good flavoring I mean, I've as well. seen lavender in a lot of dishes oh, yeah. now too. Yeah, vanilla ice cream. I mean, like <laughs> lavender lemonade. <laughs> yeah, le lemonade. Um, yeah, so oregano is definitely a powerhouse. Yep, and um, so Kristen told me once that frankincense was the king of oils and never to travel without it. So uh, I never travel without it. Because Kristen uh, says. Because Kristen said. What, what, it, that's this, what Kristen look said. At this flyer. Shoot. We're just looking at a travel flyer and it says, Frank and says, never leave home without Frank. That's not like a setup. I just noticed it right there. Okay. So I never left home with Frank. <laughs> um, without Frank. But I didn't use Frank. What? I didn't use Frank. So you're going to have to jump in here and tell us about like, Frank. Well, I know it's great for headaches, <laughs> but 
I didn't need it. But you really could use it for anything. Like if you, the thing with essential oils, they're so versatile that if you don't have one thing, you can always substitute something. It might not be the absolute first choice, but you may still get benefit or relief from it. So I remember, I don't remember the exact story, but one of my colleagues in doTERRA, she, I think it was a, some kind of skin issue or cut or something. And all she had with her is grapefruit. And so she used that, which she never would use for something like that. And it worked. So you can always be versatile, but frankincense is great for your cellular health. Um, it's great for, uh, you can use it for aches and pains. Like if you didn't have your deep blue handy, or you mm. could even layer it with your deep blue. Mm -hmm. If you didn't have your rose, um, you could use it for your face or you could layer it with your rose. So it's really good for wrinkles and, um, you know, sun damage on the skin also you could add it to your peppermint for your after sun relief mm -hmm. as well um, so all of those kind of things and just for calming and grounding and I know you have your um, morning routine that you do and you meditate a right. lot so even for something like that it's good for meditating or something like calming and soothing like that good to know so now um, is there anything you had wished you had um, Besides, like an extra pair of underwear. No, you didn't even need it. I didn't it. need it. Um, <laughs> I heard from one of our friends, another one of our friends, Dinah, who uses basil mm. um, to stop insect itching. Mm. Um, I love basil probably more than I like oregano in mm. terms of using it in, in food. Um, and Thank so you. I'm thinking about bringing the basil with me for the next, for the next uh, leg. And basil is also, I, I love basil too. I don't know, something about it, it just really it attracts me. It's also really good for adrenal support. Mm. So if you're getting fatigued because you're, you know, traveling, even if you're on a fun trip, can take a lot out of you physically, especially if you're riding in a sidecar. Yeah. <laughs> can take a lot. So I love basil for that too. But that's a great, that's a great idea. Uh, anything that's not making this next trip? You're not going to leave Frank at home, are you? I'm not going to leave Frank at home. Oh, God. Um, I don't know. I might have to, I might pare it down a little bit. Yeah. I might pare it down a little bit. Although I don't know what that looks like yet, but <laughs> we'll do this again when I come back yeah. from the second one. So as we were, um, you were going through them and I'm looking at what we've got on the table here. Uh, it did just dawn on me that we talk a lot with essential oils about the top 10 oils that are the foundational oils and that they can really be used for so many different things. And you actually have all of the top 10 represented here. Oh, do you? Yeah without even realizing it. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So um, it's really good because sometimes people get a little bit overwhelmed with so many choices. It's really good to start with the foundational oils and you can do so, so, so much with them. It's true. Yeah. We'll make up a little uh, link to add to the video wherever it's shared so that people want to see what those 10 oils are or they want to see you know, what you've got. Yeah. I mean, and you I'm happy just it. to put a little notation next to every one of them to, uh, to let uh, um, the viewers know what we what, we, what did. we did with yeah. them, what I did with them. So, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. So, tell people where you're going next on this next leg. Uh, well, we actually ended up having to leave our motorcycle in uh, Denver because we had to fly home for a wedding and we were running out of time. And um, if you have, uh, and if you're retired or if you have time and you are thinking about making um, a, a journey across the country, uh, I would definitely recommend hitting as many of the national parks as you can, as we have done, and really learning so much more about our Native American um, roots, our roots, and uh, our ancestors, and understanding that in our DNA, as well as you know our European ancestors and our ancestors in Israel and, and all of the places that make us up, all of our gener all the generations. There is also Native American in each of us. And so um, everywhere we went, I was deeply moved by what that culture endured and the plants and what they did with nature to support themselves and their families and the animals. Um, and so that, that's even d deepened my, um, my exploration of all of this. Um, we are heading back to Denver to get the bike and then we're gonna go up to Yellowstone and make our way up through the Canadian um, border 
and then eventually back home to Connecticut before some fun family events. So awesome. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for sharing your experience and your trip and um, happy camel adventures. Check them out. You don't have to sit in a sidecar and go across the country to add more adventure to your life. Yeah. There are lots of, lots of ways to do it. Thank you.